All right, so this is the No Texting While Driving app, and um, we're talking about user interface stuff. And what I want to show you is how to how to make your buttons look a little better. I mean, it's it's tough in App Inventor, but you can you can make things look better. And probably the best way is um, you can put an image, place an image file on top of a button, so so your image appears as as the button. So I've got this edit button, and what I'm going to do is upload a media file, and I'm going to choose a file. I have one set up. It's called IC underscore menu edit dot png and if you search for such a thing it's a kind of a standard android button but you can grab any any edit icon right this one's like a little pin okay and that's going to come up i just uploaded into media so I, now i'm going to choose my button and just make sure that my button has that as its as its chosen image okay maybe that's a little too big i don't know i think it i think it's a little too big so i'm going to change the width and the height to 20 pixels for, for both. Okay. And then I'm going to have this little button that appears. And, you know, whenever you put an image on a button, make sure you get rid of the, the text. So we were saying edit there. Get rid of that text edit. And now we've got this nice kind of looking little little button here that's that's right next to the, to the label. Okay. Um, you'll notice that that image is, you know, maybe, maybe it's a little too big. I think it's causing this this problem with this this uh, you know no margin in here. Um, but I'm going to leave it for now. What I'm going to do is just you know add a little margin between these two components. And the way you do that in App Inventor is the easiest way: just grab a label and stick it right in there. Okay. Get rid of the text. Okay. And then make the height I don't know 10 pixels, or let's just make it five pixels. Okay, and all of a sudden that's going to just give a little space in between your components. Now we better make the width to fill parent. Okay, so it'll go all the way across. And I think now our app will have some space in between there. All right, so yeah, I mean, App Inventor is really glitchy um, for, for this kind of stuff. What I'm going to do is Let's make sure our arrangement is is big enough. So I'm going to actually give it some space, um, maybe 50 pixels. Okay, and that's going to leave some space in between, um, for sure, between those two things. And so now things look look a little better. In fact, you know, I might even just make this this label a separator. So I'm going to change it, um, not the text color, but the background color. Let's just give it, you know, a little divider. Okay, so now we've got this area for um, the the response message and edit box and then we got this divider before we talk about whether they want to speak speak out loud okay so now I've got this guy um, and you know now let's talk about the submit button okay and I won't add an image on this you could right but what I'm gonna do with this guy is just show you that you can kinda of change the shape so I'm gonna make this guy rounded um, so it can look a little bit better um, and really, to see that, we have to go to our UI and touch the edit button, and then we'll be able to see the the submit button around it. Okay. And of course, you can change the color of a button, so I can change the background color uh, to blue or whatever I want. And then, if I want the text, uh, I can change the text color color as well. So I'll change that to to white. Okay. So I mean, this is not beautiful, right? But just kind of by messing around. Adding little separators, um, adding icons for your buttons, and then kind of using rounded buttons or whatnot to uh, show show how they look. <coughs> you can kind of make things things look a little better.